it's Summer Rain from Homestead, Brooklyn, and I'm here to answer all of your plant questions, or at least the ones that I know that I can answer, or at least I can find the answers to. So thank you again for sending all your questions my way. I'm getting them through Facebook, I'm getting them through Instagram at Homestead, Brooklyn, and I'm also getting them here. So I tally them all into my little pink book until I run out of pages and I'll probably get a different color book, and um, I'm trying to answer them as I go, two to three questions at a time. And you guys have been awesome. Um, some of them are so charming, and others are so funny. In the case of this one, I forgot to write your name down, but you said, can you take my Botany 101 final exam? No, I can't. <laughs> You might be displeased, you know, a lot of the things that we studied kind of in school, you know, kind of go in one ear and out the other. It's very hard to sometimes um, even remember the scientific names I remember from my environmental science classes. We used to go out and uh, identify plant species by their scientific names and you know a little bit more about the natural history of those particular species and their interaction with the, in the environment. Um, and sometimes I really have to jog my memory in order to be able to know uh, some of that knowledge or remember, recall some of that knowledge. So um, no, I'm not gonna take your Botany 101 exam and I would encourage you to study and, and maybe try to pass that yourself. <laughs> uh, thank you for your question though. Uh, I'm moving on to the next question. Uh, I know, uh, I know it's hard to play favorites with plants, um, but do you have any faves? That one is by Dragon Time, T-H-Y-M-E. Uh, thank you for your question. I think somebody already asked this question before. Really hard, you're right, it's really, really hard to play favorites. I always say that my my ficus, my fiddle leaf fig, is has a special place in my heart. I don't know if it's my favorite. I don't wanna say anything as like my plants are listening to me, but, um, but my fiddle leaf fig is, uh, holds a special place in my heart because it was the first plant that I actually bought for this particular space. However, I will say that one of my favorite genuses, my favorite genera of um, plants are Peperomia. And I really hadn't discovered this until I had my stilt peperomia or my parallel peperomia which i think is um peperomia putilota and i just marvel at it because it's so cute it has like these little pinstripes on it it doesn't need a tremendous amount of attention it doesn't like too much light it's kind of like one of those goldilocks plants it doesn't want too much light it doesn't want to be too dark but it's just kind of right and i have a place in my workroom on the desk where I just have like a bunch of peperomia that are now starting and I really like them. I think they're so darling. So I have to say that those are some of my, my favorites at the moment. And at the moment, I think is probably a, a good caveat to say there. All right, since the first question was, I think a little bit of a wash of taking someone's Botany 101 exam, I'm gonna do a third question. Uh, this one is from Jazz. Do you grow any edibles? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I grow them in my north and my south facing windows. The north facing window is where my kitchen is at. So what I really like about that is that I can, I, I love to cook. I've said it probably a million times, but I love, love, love to cook. I probably cook for myself one to three times a day, usually around two, sometimes the max around three times a day, unless I'm like working with one of my clients and I have to eat out into the city. Um, but I love growing herbs. I love cooking with spices and herbs and I really wanna be able to do more of it. What's really wonderful about doing it within your kitchen is that you could just like grab the leaves, clip off the leaves. I have some herb cutters or bonsai cutters that I just like clip off the leaves and toss them right into my meals, basil, uh, I have toothache plant, which I haven't really used. It's a little bit more like a gag gift at this stage when somebody comes in and wants to taste a little something. It gives them a little shot of like, feels like a little bit like a Szechuan pepper and Novocaine. I have Santalina. I have broadleaf thyme, thyme, sage, curry leaves. I love curry leaves. Yeah, there's a lot that I have going on and, um, and a lot that I love about growing my own herbs. And I cycle through them pretty pretty regularly. 
Uh, I've done some potatoes here indoors. Actually, they, they're not that impressive. They don't grow huge amounts, but I love seeing how quickly the leaves of the potatoes actually grow. However, they were a big attractor to a lot of pests. So I'm talking aphids, white flies, mealybugs, you name it, like it got attracted to that potato plant. So I think I'm gonna like toss growing potatoes in my home from this point forward, but it was a really good experiment and I, I really like the idea of experimentation. Lettuce greens, microgreens, those are all really easy to, to grow, especially the microgreens, you just kind of like toss them in a little um, thing of soil, you keep it moist, you could keep it dark, and then once it starts to emerge out of the seed, I open it up, give it a lot of light, and within like seven to 12 days, you actually have some microgreens that you could eat or put on as garnish, so. Um, yeah, I, I love growing both food that I could eat as well as plants that I could look at in my home. I think that it's the best of both worlds and I highly encourage some people to experiment more. So hopefully that has helped and given you a little bit of inspiration as well. And um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> Make sure you send your questions over to Homestead Brooklyn. You could find me on Instagram, uh, also here on YouTube and on Facebook. And feel free to just write in the comments if you have any particular questions, I'll try to answer them. I, I do this every, basically every Thursday. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thanks guys, bye.